signs of being there through pre-season and into the season. You know, disappointment, of course, was to lose the opening day against Charlton. I think the second game away at Fulham was always going to be a really tough fixture for us. And yeah, I thought we applied ourselves pretty well. And then on the back of a really poor performance against Oldham, really, we got a victory. And on the back of that, we uh, managed to pick up two wins. And so... I think generally it's, it's it's OK. I think if we're going to define the first batch of games, we have to get Saturday out of the way, really. But um, but I do look at the, at the fixtures, they're all tough. And yet, if you look at the first five or six fixtures and then you look at the next five or six fixtures, you know which one I would prefer to be playing. And so after the international break, I think in my eyes, there's games that we, as every game, but we have to genuinely target and try and take three points in, in, in as many games as we can. And... Um, and get our season up and running. You know, your season's not defined in the first five games, and so whatever the result on Saturday, I think I can see improvement on the team. I think the um, the performance level of the side, even though we'd made changes on Tuesday night, was closer to where we want to be. I think um, makes it sound. If I say that, it makes it sound as if we didn't do good work last year. <laughs> That's a good point. We did. Uh, we did lots of work on our defence last year. At, um, Collectively, I think we're doing it better this year. And um, But ultimately, at the other end, the goals aren't being quite free-flowing. The balance for us all is to try and get that equilibrium of, of scoring goals and keeping clean sheets, because when you do that, you've got a winning formula. They all know that. And I've been trying to drive principles of play into this team for two and a half years, when I first the first day I walked in, really, about how I've always coached teams of... You know, what you do in transition when you've got it and you lose it and when you lo- uh, when you haven't got it and you win it back, where you go with the ball. And I think you in- ingrain those things in teams over time. It, um, and, and the difficulty for football managers is your team over time changes. And so you have to keep repeating the message. And the core players who've been here for two and a half years with me are probably sick to death of my core messages of the team and yet you have to repeat them for the new players as they come in and the team just keeps evolving. I really found it strange to be honest, I, I was trying to teach a human values lesson to a young guy really, I went, oh, I, oh I don't know, I just felt as if it was the wrong thing to do, it wasn't the first time he did it, it was the second time and I thought, it's like maybe not my job, you know, but... Um, I try and live my life by values, really, and you know, if that had been a ball boy at our club, it was the wrong side for Chris to do anything about it, of, the, of where the dugouts were. I, did, I only had to walk ten yards, so I just told him not to disrespect the game or, or his club or his family and just um, just get the ball back to the team. You don't have to keep the ball off us or throw it away. And that was all. A referee, I don't know whether they misunderstood. They thought I'd gone over shouting at him or administering some sort of discipline to him I'm not sure but that was never the case and so I was really surprised when the yellow card was produced and then for a red card to be produced because I was trying to say to him whoa I was trying to explain that I, there was no shouting there was, there was no anger from me I was just trying to teach a young guy a lesson it's um anyway so to see there's no action it doesn't I would have ever been charged I'd have gone to London and appealed it really and tried to explain but I know that's difficult sometimes but hopefully common sense prevails and we just get on with the next game Thanks again for watching, please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.